the Daleks with every Dalek that ever was inside the asylum. The biggest thing for me about it is that it really puts Matt's doctor right back at the heart of the story in the most heroic form that we've seen him ever. One of the best uh, moments of fun I had prepping this year was, you know, sitting Chris Chibnall down just saying, here's your brief, here's what I want you to do, dinosaurs in a spaceship. And uh, every aspect uh, and pretense of cynicism and sophistication fled from his face. You know, just dinosaurs on a spaceship. So that was, yeah, that was a tough one to give up, but I, yeah, I, I, I put it into the best possible hands. So, and I'm delighted with the episode. It's absolutely thrilling. The plot is just what happens. Uh, the story is who it happens to. One of the things that's very important about Doctor Who is to see it's having an impact on those people. It's, okay, I love explosions and spaceships and giant monsters more than any grown man should, but unless you're telling an emotional story, you're not engaging with it. You're not telling really what that's like. So yes, we're always looking in every episode for, okay, but what did that mean to those people? How did it change them? There's some scenes in there that just cut to the heart, I think, mm. with Amy and Rory, and it's just beautiful. That's the magic that Chris really brought to it, because I think that he just writes Amy and Rory so beautifully. I did have one aspect of it, very obviously, which is towards the end, and very clearly that was that was planned a long way in advance, and I always knew oddly enough what the final words would be. But, um, no, it changed a lot as it went along. After a while, I was going to make that Dalek story, and then I just thought, the weeping angels were more appropriate somehow for them um, uh, it was planned for a long time but you know you have to surprise yourself when you get there it has to be different from what you planned otherwise it doesn't feel like writing so many happy memories of shooting in New York. I think that all of us were completely blown away by the sheer reaction that we got from the American fans. Our minders were saying that was bigger crowds than Sex and the City got, bigger crowds than uh, Julia Roberts got. It, yeah, it was Doctor Who's bigger than Carrie Bradshaw. That's the way it is.